Hi everybody, welcome back to Cookie Cutter to Custom. Today's video will be the first in the series about customizing my cookie cutter home. What we have right now that you're looking at are the knobs in my kitchen. We had received some standard knobs from the builder and we decided to upgrade to these glass knobs that I found pretty inexpensively online. They really do make quite a difference and add a little sparkle. The light fixtures in our home were nice, but they were the standard fixtures that the builder installed. We wanted something with a little more of a wow factor, so we looked around and found these fixtures. You'll notice these are two pendant lights and the chandelier is hanging over our table where we have our meals. And these items, believe it or not, are not even from the same company. We purchased these through ATG, which is a Lowe's company, and ATG stands for All That's Good. Next, here is a before picture of our family room and you can see it's pretty bland. We wanted to add a pop of color and you get a little hint when you see the samples there. We chose a Mediterranean color from Sherwin-Williams and my husband and I added the board and batten on the one side wall. Now here you're looking at a beam that the builder had installed as part of the floor plan and we just dressed it up with the narrow picture frame molding on all four sides. Next, we move on to the guest bath, which is on the first floor. The walls were pretty boring, and the ceiling is just a little bit shorter in this room. There are also no windows. So we did a board and batten, but we used lattice instead of thicker boards, just to kind of shrink down the scale of what we were doing in the room. It really was quite a simple project. You can see here, once the strips are up, we started the paint. And then after the white glossy paint was installed on the board and batten, I added a color called mink from Sherwin-Williams, which is what you see here. And it is a little dark, but there are quite a lot of white light things in the room that brighten it up. So here is another view from the other door from the guest bedroom that goes into the bath. So you can kind of see the before image and the what we worked with. And here is the after. So you can see the nice board and batten, the artwork, the towel, and um, the beautiful mink color dressing up the walls. Now here is a view from the other door that is leading into the room from the hallway. And you can see the plain walls there. And then here we are with the after, some nice glass shelving and a portrait on the wall, kind of give it a nice touch. I do have a mason jar on that top shelf there with um, some things that a guest might find that come in handy. Um, over the mirror, I installed um, two new covers for the light bulbs and the light fixture. So the fixture is not new, it was just the shades over the light bulbs. And then I framed out the mirror, which was really, pretty simple just cutting out some wood that I purchased at Lowe's in the section for chair railing and put in four corners um, with some wood glue now our backsplash we chose not to go with the builder standard and buy it aftermarket and I'm really glad we did because we really didn't have a lot of choice at the design center and we were able to get this beautiful marble um, backsplash that we just love it looks stunning it's got a nice shine factor the colors in the accent tile work well and it's so easy to clean because of the finish it's nice and shiny and this is a ceiling fan that we bought for our son he does have an airplane theme in his bedroom kind of a classic airplane theme and this just really fit the bill for his room so this concludes this video from Cookie Cutter to Custom. Thank you so much for joining me today. I certainly hope you come back to this page to view more videos and learn how to make your home go from cookie cutter to custom. If you haven't done so already, we would just love to have you as one of our subscribers.